rock star Jason Kerrison has just uh, just gone fast in a two-seater TRS car with Brendan Hartley, New Zealand's uh, F1 hopeful. How was that, mate? Um, I thought it was going to be scarier than it was, but it was actually just completely and utterly amazing. Yeah. It, was, yeah, it was thoroughly enjoyable, loved it, absolutely. What are you going to do again? But, uh, you know, day being what it is. <laughs> vibrations and um, didn't really necessarily feel it too much until you came into the corners and when you'd break and you'd feel a couple of times your body weight moving forward and your lunch so um, <laughs> it was really it was thoroughly enjoyable really cool oh, he, you know, he was right a couple of years he'll come out we'll give him a couple of lessons maybe <coughs> well that's slightly different this year from uh, from last year you were driving the a1 car this time you're driving rock stars Round, uh, round the Taupo circuit. How was that? Yeah, that was awesome, actually. It's awesome, to, you know, to give someone else an experience of uh, you know what I'm doing every day. And uh, you know, big fan of uh, Jason and Opstoff, actually. So I know so it was an awesome experience to take people around and you know just give them a bit of an insight. You know, and I think he enjoyed it. He was making a bit of noise while we we're out there, so that was good. Excellent. Now you've probably got a bit more of a rock star here, Captain. Well, maybe. Yeah, he's got a bit of work to do. Excellent. Now, uh, tell us about the F3 season that you're about to embark on again. Yep, doing the F3 Euro Series, so it's um, yeah one of the most competitive championships in the world, and so uh, yeah, it's going to be tough, but uh, hopefully I'm up to it and they're yeah, going to give it a good, good go and uh, like every other year and push as hard as I can. Excellent. Any uh, further F1 test plans? Uh, I mean, hopefully there'll be something, but it's uh, it's quite limited with Formula One now because I've cut the budgets massively, which uh, and part of that was. Uh, cutting all the testing so it's a bit hard for young drivers like me who would love to be in the car when uh, there's just no testing at all but you know that's going to change and um, no it's, everything's looking pretty positive at the moment I was lucky to get one when I could and uh, yeah hopefully there'll be more. So what was the F1 car like to drive? Oh just amazing you know it was, a, it was a dream come true you know I've been dreaming about that day since I was uh, six or seven years old so it's uh, pretty hard to describe you know so it's just fantastic.